श्री सुरेश प्रभु एनीबॉडी एल्स वांट टू स्पीक एनीबॉडी एल्स इज स्पीक यस सर आई वुड लाइक टू सपोर्ट दिस बिल व्हिच इज रीइंट्रोड्यूस्ड बिकॉज प्रीवियस लोकसभा वॉज डिजॉल्व एंड देयर फॉर द बिल कुड बी टेकन अप टू द लॉजिकल कंक्लूजन टू कन्वर्ट इन टू लॉ सर आई वुड लाइक टू मेक सम जनरल कॉमेंट्स सर द कैपिटल मार्केट इन इंडिया इज ग्रोइंग वेरी फास्ट इनफैक्ट राइट नाउ द इंडेक्स द बॉम्बे स्टॉक एक्सचेंज इक्विटी इंडेक्स विच इज अ इंडिकेटर अबाउट हाउ द कैपिटल मार्केट्स इन इंडिया आर मूविंग इज प्रॉब्ली एट अ हिस्टोरिक हाई इट हेज नेवर बीन हायर देन दिस बिफोर द फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर बी हैप्पी बिकॉज वेन द स्टॉक मार्केट इज डूइंग वेल आई थिंक दिस इज वन इंडिकेटर दैट द इन्वेस्टर्स इन द कंट्री हैव गॉट कॉन्फिडेंस इन द इकोनॉमी ऑफ द कंट्री एंड नाउ आवर स्टॉक मार्केट्स आर ड्रीवन नॉट जस्ट बाय डोमेस्टिक इन्वेस्टमेंट बट ऑल्सो बाय ह्यूज मनी विच फ्लोज इन टू द कंट्री थ्रू पोर्टफोल इन्वेस्टर्स हु आर रजिस्टर्ड इन इंडिया एज एफ आई एस फॉर इन इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर्स एंड एफ आर दे ऑल्सो नीड टू वी नीड टू इंस्पायर कॉन्फिडेंस इन दैम एंड वन ऑफ द डिमांड विच हैज बीन देयर फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम is that the stock market should not be the private club of the stock brokers and therefore we have operated for long time on a concept of mutualization in which like a normal club wherein like a delhi club you go the members pay subscription they become members they run the club and this is their own property that that's how it is run but stock exchanges cannot be run in this manner in india particularly when we are actually globalizing when there a lot of investments is coming to the country and therefore we need it really needed a uh, amendment like this to make sure that stock exchanges function in a manner which will inspire confidence of investors within the country and outside so i would like to make a general comment as i said on two points one we need to now look at the regulatory framework in the country more closely in fact as the government is deregulating more and more as the government is coming out of business rightly so what is really required is how the regu- the regulatory authorities are going to function in the capital markets in india the securities exchange board of india the sebi which is the regulator the debt market that is actually the equity market and the debt market which actually generally constitutes the capital market of the country we really need to find out because debt market in india is also growing very fast the government of course is one of the biggest uh, issuer of debt uh, instruments therefore i think we really need to find out how the regulation in india is going to really function and the regulators the market regulator how they are going to inspire the confidence of the people at large so one is very important that what we are really doing is we are making amendments to the securities law to ensure that the stock exchanges will function in a manner which are very transparent which are not owned by the stock brokers but stock brokers are only operators in the stock exchange where the ownership will go beyond them and that's how it will really function and it's a welcome measure but unless we bring in a strong regulatory mechanism invest a lot of power in the regulator and avoid multiple regulators in fact this is something which we really need to look at is it the time right now to look at how the regulation will also work which will actually inspire the confidence of the international community as well as the domestic investors so i think i would request the finance minister to look at this issue very closely this is just a general uh, issue not just related to this particular stock exchanges but capital market the money market also the forex market they are the three major markets but also beyond that there is a rbi which actually works also as a regulator can we not create a proper regulatory framework so second point is about every time we introduce a legislation we the parliament which is the supreme body to make laws in the country makes a law and we debate it openly and that's how the law is made but when we make a law we also invest a power in the government to make subordinate legislation to make rules so we are so many times have seen that the spirit of legislation which is passed by the parliament is subverted by the rules that are made by the executive and therefore i think we really need to look at it very closely as to how the rule making authority rule making powers of the government will not intrude upon the spirit in which the law is passed because the legislation is a subordinate legislation this should be subservient to the spirit of the law but this is never never happen and therefore i think here again we are actually creating another mode of subordinate legislation 
which of course sometimes it is inevitable. At the same time, I think we really need to look at it how the laws made by the parliament and the rules made there under by the executive will be actually not be conflicting in nature, but will actually serve the same purpose. In fact, the rules, as, as the, any legislative uh, jurisprudence will say, will have to be subservient to the law. And therefore, I think that is something which we will need to do. So thirdly, I would like to be enlightened from the finance minister, which is that the broker's rights, broker's uh, uh, power to hold shares in a stock exchange are to be restricted. Because for the, for the same reason why, why we are bringing this legislation, because they should not be holding uh, equity in a, in a corporate body, which will give them a managerial right, which they can actually override the company. So therefore, how much is the restriction on that? And the balance amount, which we are going to divest with the sh shareholders at large, who will actually be holding these shares, how actually that will happen? Is there any time frame which is prescribed? And if the time frame is prescribed, how will I ensure that even by other means, the broker's entities, which are not owned by broker directly, but maybe subordinately owned, will not be able to control the stock exchanges? How is it going to be actually sh make sure? So another point that we really need to do as we are growing and the capital markets are developing, and the new institutions are created. So this is actually what we are really talking about, is the institutional building major. Because this is something which we should be proud about that a legislature, this parliament, is, is a, an outcome of an institution building major. Because now the parliament is supreme. The same way when we are now creating a new institution in terms of stock exchanges, how to roll the investor organizations, the organizations which represent the small investors, would have to play in such uh, bodies. Is the finance minister contemplating that there will be some organizations, shareholders organizations, the um, investors organizations would be able to hold some shares in such organization? Would there be a specific limit, specific uh, preferential allotment that could be made to such body of individuals? If that is done, that would also go a long way in ensuring that these stock exchanges will work and operate in a manner that will actually represent the interest of the investors who actually are supposed to be running such markets, including the capital market where the amendment is sought to be made. Sir, I am, as I said, I really welcome this measure. I would only request the finance minister that from time to time it is a need to review such measures because it's no longer there's a dynamic market. The markets keep changing. So therefore, one legislation, one amendment, one intervention from the legislature is not going to suffice. We really need to constantly monitor it. And therefore, is he contemplating also? Because under the Fiscal Responsibility and Management Act, there is a provision that periodic review of the economy will be placed before the parliament. Is he thinking, again, as a measure of bringing in participation, more participation by the legislature into this exercise, is he contemplating to place before the legislature periodically the, in his opinion, how the stock markets are behaving? Is he think, does, he, does he think in his in own way they are fundamentally strong? Or is it something which the stock markets have been driven by some other measure? For example, so this is very important now because even the money markets are actually influencing the stock markets a great deal. The rupee is appreciating, the dollar is depreciating for the first time in the, after so many years after the uh, breakdown of Bretton Woods institutions in 70. Now, dollar is weakening and the rupee is getting strong, which again will have influence on the capital markets as well as the financial markets. So I think I would just find out and request in case there is any contemplation by the finance minister. Of course, I welcome this legislation. I, I hope this will go a long way in ensuring a long old uh, reform that was required in the capital market, which I'm sure will be introduced through this measure. So I strongly support this. Thank you. Yes.